At 91 years old, Clint Eastwood has lived a longer and more fruitful life than most. The film legend's career has lasted over seven decades, and he's starred in over 50 films. Clint tries to maintain a healthy and active lifestyle and has no plans to retire from filmmaking anytime soon. But the director had one major near-death experience while flying on an airplane. This is what inspired him to make the film Sully. Join Facts First as Clint Eastwood opens up about his near-death experience. At age 91, Clint Eastwood doesn't seem to be showing many signs of slowing down. The actor and director made eight films in the 2010s and has a new film scheduled to come out later this year. The film legend has maintained his longevity by eating healthy and staying active. But all the healthy habits in the world weren't enough to save Clint from a near-death experience he endured while flying on a U.S. Navy plane. Apparently, Clint was hitching a ride on a Navy aircraft when the vehicle suddenly spun out of control due to bad weather and a lack of oxygen. The plane was flying over the ocean off the coast of California and began to spiral into the water as the engine went out. Clint has recalled barely seeing the Golden Gate Bridge through the storm clouds as the plane descended into the water, prompting the panicked star to buckle his safety belt in preparation for the impact. As soon as the plane hit the water, Clint has said it bounced for several moments in the waves. Clint and the panicked crew of the plane looked at each other and soon realized the plane was beginning to sink into the ocean. They decided there was nothing to do besides jump into the water and attempt to swim to shore. The water that Clint and the plane crew were forced to jump into was apparently freezing cold, and it was also moving about wildly due to the ongoing storm overhead. Still, all of them managed to get to shore safely. However, they had become separated in the raging waters, and all members of the party were worried the others had drowned. Thankfully, everyone aboard the plane eventually managed to get in touch with each other, and they all recovered from the incident without a hitch. And the experience certainly came in handy when it was time for Clint to direct the movie Sully many years later. Clint's near-death experience on that Navy airplane played a large part in his decision to take on the story of Chelsea Sullenberger, whose heroic emergency landing of an airplane in 2009 saved over a hundred lives. According to Clint, he had the exact experience necessary to bring a sense of realism and urgency to the story. However, the real Chelsea Sullenberger was on set for much of the filming and didn't always agree with Clint's takes on the action. Sully was released in 2016 and featured Tom Hanks playing the titular heroic character. Both Tom and Clint received a great deal of praise, and the film helped shed some more public attention on the real hero that inspired it. The film was also a commercial success, earning over $200 million. Critics praised the film for its realism, as well as the intensity of its heart-pounding action scenes. Clint routinely expressed during the film's promotion that he drew upon his real-life near-death experience when crafting those scenes, granting them a level of authenticity. Given that Clint knew exactly how it felt to be on an airplane that was crashing into the water, it's understandable he viewed himself as the perfect director for the film. Since the release of Sully in 2016, Clint has made several more films. One such film was the 2018 drama The Mule, which Clint also starred in. But the aging director decided to remain behind the scenes for 2018's The 1517 to Paris and 2019's Richard Jewell. Like Sully, both of these films examined real-life heroes responsible for averting national tragedies. But both of these films were released to much less unanimous acclaim than Sully was. Given the on-set arguments that Clint ran into with real-life hero Chelsea Sullenberger while filming Sully, the director decided to perform an experiment and allow the heroes to portray themselves in the 1517 to Paris. The film revolved around three men who stopped a terrorist attack on a train heading from Amsterdam to Paris, and Clint allowed the three men to portray themselves. Although it was a noble experiment, critics were not happy about these real-life heroes' supposed lack of acting abilities. Clint returned to using real actors with 2019's Richard Jewell, though critics and audiences still didn't receive the film quite as positively as he would have liked. Now that Clint's in his 90s, many of his fans are fearfully counting the days until his inevitable retirement. But that retirement doesn't seem to be coming up anytime soon. Clint has recently finished filming his most recent feature, which was filmed during the COVID-19 pandemic. It also features Clint returning to the status of lead actor. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Given the fact that Clint is 91 years old and still apparently as busy as ever, many fans are often curious about his living habits. It stands to reason one wouldn't be able to function so well in their twilight years without taking care of their nutrition and staying active.
Unsurprisingly, Clint has expressed he's no stranger to healthy living. Though the filmmaker has been known to enjoy his food, he's always sure to refrain from overindulging. And he maintains an active lifestyle that keeps him on his toes. But he's sure to never push himself too far in his old age. Some of the physical activities Clint partakes in to stay active include golfing and long walks. These light activities are just enough to keep the aging star on his feet, while being relaxing enough to ensure he doesn't push himself past his limits. Clint still puts his all into each and every one of his films, and likely burns more calories during a day on set than he would on the golf course. Although Clint is the first to admit his body certainly isn't as capable as it once was, he claims his brain is sharper than ever. He attributes this sharpness to his healthy living habits, as well as the general wisdom he's collected over the years. The director's youthful brain is what allows him to keep making films, although his aging body keeps him from starring in as many as he used to. Still, fans can look forward to seeing his return to acting when his most recent directorial effort comes to theaters in 2021. His most recent movie is a neo-Western film called Cry Macho. He produced and directed the film, which was filmed during COVID-19. It's based on the 1975 novel of the same name, which was the debut novel of famed novelist and playwright and Richard Nash. Nash also wrote the screenplay for the film adaptation shortly before his death in 2000. The film adaptation of Cry Macho has sat idly in pre-production for the past two decades, with many filmmakers and actors attached. But it was Clint who finally decided to step up to the plate and get the job done under his Malpaso Productions label. The film is scheduled to be released in September of 2021 and will be streaming on HBO Max. While Clint is certainly proud of the dozens of films he's starred in and directed over the years, he's even more proud of his numerous children. These include Kyle, Allison, Scott, and Francesca, who all chose to follow in their father's footsteps and craft a career in the entertainment industry. While all four have dabbled in acting, Kyle is also a notable jazz musician. Clint has been married twice and divorced from his second wife in 2014. Since then, he's been in a relationship with a woman named Christina Sandera. Christina is a former restaurant hostess who is several decades younger than Clint, but the two have maintained a healthy six-year relationship that seems to be going strong. Clint turned 91 on May 31, 2021. He celebrated his birthday with Christina as well as several of his many kids. Allison and Scott both stopped by Clint's home in Carmel-by-the-Sea, California to wish their father a happy birthday. The rest of his children sent their wishes via phone calls and texts, with Clint preferring to keep his birthdays as light and casual as possible. Given that he's had 91 of them, it's understandable. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share what your personal favorite Clint Eastwood film is. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.